I am Dr. Mia. And I'm Dr. Claire. And in the east coast of the United States, we found the cannonball jellyfish. It was ill. We brought it back to our office in order to save it. It is also known as the Stomolophus melagris by other scientists. The classification of this creature is Eukaryota, Animalia, Snideria, Skyphozoa, Rhizostomi, Stomolophidae, Stomolophus, Stomolophus melagris. As we look at this cannonball jellyfish, we can examine its anatomy. What makes this jellyfish classified in the phylum Snideria is because it lives in a marine environment. It has radial symmetry and it has presence of specialized tissues. The size of this cannonball jellyfish is about the size of a <laughs> cannonball. Hence the name cannonball jellyfish. <laughs> it's, it has radial symmetry. Three physical characteristics of this jellyfish are it is ball shaped, it is translucent in color, and there are no tentacles. The cannonball jellyfish has a rigid rounded bell, and unlike a spotted jellyfish, it does not have white spots on its bell. The cannonball jellyfish reproduces in a very unique way. The male jellyfish spits sperm out from its mouth into the females in order for the fetus to grow. So you could say it reproduces both asexually and sexually. It is also external fertilization and internal development. Mm -hmm. okay. The cannonball jellyfish does not have lungs, so it takes in its oxygen and releases its carbon dioxide through its thin skin. So the organ it must have is thin skin, so oxygen can enter its body through diffusion. The cannonball jellyfish lives in the aquatic biome. Some characteristics you can find there is the salt water, the plankton, and the multiple varieties of marine life. This animal has adapted to live in its environment. It has mucus containing toxins which kill the prey around it. It has 16 mouths to suck in its food, and it has tentacles to propel through the water to catch the food. In order to get their food, the cannonball jellyfish spits out mucus containing toxins, which kill their prey. They are carnivores, which means they eat other animals. The first thing they do is kill their prey and draw them into their mouth, which is an opening in the center of their body. Once digested, the waste goes out through the same mouth. <laughs> Three specific foods that the cannonball jellyfish eats are plankton, Atlantic spade fish, and the sea turtle. The evolution of the cannonball jellyfish is very complicated, but scientists suggest that the animal has been around for possibly more than 500 million years, and they know this from examining fossils. Some fun facts about this unique creature. The cannonball jellyfish has a symbiotic relationship with the spider crab. It is also the main source of food for the leatherback turtles. Some believe that by eating cannonball jellyfish, it can be helpful for arthritis, bronchitis, and high blood pressure. <laughs> it is now time to save the creature, now that we know the facts. We have some antibacterial spray that will kill its virus. <laughs> now it is time to release this now healthy jellyfish back into the ocean. its food, the cannonball jellyfish spits out mucus containing toxins in order to kill their prey. <laughs> they- <laughs> What? <laughs> mucus is not. That's 